the Birdman of online toy reviews, one continuous take. Number 10, Jim Gordon. Just look at him, he looks great, he's huge. I like the vinyl clothes. He's got some great accessories with the gun and the bullhorn and everything. I only use the bullhorn though. Bullock looks good too, but not quite as good as Gordon. Number nine, we have Killer Croc. He also comes with Baby Doll. He's the only figure that's accessory is another character. He also has a big chicken, a ball, baby bottle. Paint job looks great, sculpt looks great. Quality figure, even though the Batman the Animated Series version was better. All right, Raish al Ghul and his daughter both look great, but I'm giving this one to Raish. I like that his cape is so sturdy that I don't even need to use a stand. He also comes with that demon's head mask, but I'd rather see his face out there and whatever the hell it is you call that facial hair of his. Here's the sultry poison ivy. I have her in a sexy little pose here. She's got some, uh, well, it's probably not that smart to put those chemicals at her feet, but it looks all right. The Joker, Batman the Animated Series Joker looked better, but not in figure form. The figure of the Batman the Animated Series Joker looks like crap. This one looks awesome. And he also came with those uh, hyenas. Those actually didn't come with Harley Quinn. While old Bruce looks awesome, Terry McGinnis' wings sucked, so I can't give it to that one. Roxy Rocket, not a great character, but um, the design of this figure is fantastic, and I really like the rocket. It actually lights up if you can find those little disc-shaped batteries. Legends of the Dark Knight 3-pack. Look, this figure is gigantic. He looks great, um, but the main attraction here is the mutant leader, who you see right here, looking all mad, shaking his fist at whoever is above him. Nice paint on the fangs, rubberized nipples, everything you want in a mutant leader figure. Well, except for a torch. Could have used a torch. Looking past these that are kind of subpar, and we get Clayface. Clayface is one of my favorite Batman the Animated Series characters. This one came with a lot of different accessories, so you can do um, like a mace hand or a hook hand. I like the axe. And then he's just kind of got his uh, hand out there. Agonizing scream. Number two, Man Bat, who looks awesome if you hang him from some fishing line. Unfortunately, I bumped this right before I filmed it. So, you know, that's, that's what we got. He's gonna have to deal with it wobbling and spinning here, but it looks awesome. Nice paint. Accessories aren't fantastic, but you don't really need accessories. I mean, it's Man Bat. Just show him in a flying pose and you're good. So who's number one going to be? Is it going to be Harley Quinn? No, it's not. It's the Creeper. Creeper looks freaking awesome. I like the feathery boa. He's got the best accessories of anybody. He's got a lot of fun poses. I mean, look, he's got an Adam West mask, pool stick, sewer rat. And, you know, the expression on his face is just fantastic. And you can place him in a lot of really animated poses. He's a very fun character. Even though the episode he was in isn't spectacular, the figure is outstanding. And don't forget cheap. There's not a high demand for Creeper, so he's pretty cheap on Amazon and eBay. If you'd like to enjoy this countdown even more, watch it again and take a drink every time I say the word great.